I'm also honored to introduce one of our biggest sponsors today, a man by the name of Mark O'Leary from Comcast Cable. Not sure if any of you are like me, but I am a TV junkie. I live for my Comcast Cable. On demand, I watch it all the time. So what I think is great about Comcast, in addition to the wonderful programming, is that they do so much with local businesses to do advertising and commercials really targeted towards the audience that you are most interested in. So I'm sure that you'll hear more about that throughout the day. That's my little spin on it. A little bit about Mark. Mark has over 24 years of experience in the telecom and cable industry. He's currently the Regional Vice President for Business Services at Comcast in Central California. And he is not only someone who works for Comcast, he is a fellow entrepreneur. Mark was the founder of Phi Performance Systems, a consulting firm that worked with technology companies in aligning overall execution with corporate strategy. He was also the CEO of a healthcare applications company called H Corp that provided in-hospital in patient and clinical applications via broadband content network. We're so happy here today for one of our biggest sponsors. Please help me give Mark a very warm welcome, Mark O'Leary. Thanks, Ellie. Good morning. I'm definitely in my element with small business owners. And having done not only run venture-backed companies, but I decided to go out on my own about four years ago with my own money, my wife's money, some family money, some friends' money, and never have venture capitalists invest their own personal money in your business. It's a bad idea. Seriously, I have all the respect in the world having gone through running my own business with my own money for everybody in this room. It takes a lot of courage, it takes a lot of dedication, it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So believe me, I'm happy to be in a room with folks that I really respect. So when I do events like this, uh, I have a prepared, standard, normal speech. It's a corporate speech. It's got PowerPoints in it. Oh joy. However, these times are not standard, normal times. So I've dispensed with the standard, normal corporate speech and thankfully the PowerPoints. And I actually put something, something together last night uh, specifically for the BizTech event. You know, in the last two months, we have all been hit with an off the Richter scale economic earthquake. Now we of the Bay are used to the earth moving, figuratively and econ uh, economically. But we have not seen, folks, anything quite like this. I've been in Silicon Valley since 81. I moved here when I was two years old. <laughs> and we have seen a lot of up and down cycles. But the phase we're entering is different. And we're in uncharted territory, folks. In the last three days, the ex-Fed chair characterized the global economy as being hit by an economic tsunami. More locally, last week, one of the largest venture capital firms, Sand Hill Road, who remain nameless, called all 60 of their portfolio CEOs in for a two-day meeting. The first PowerPoint slide in the meeting, the quote, it is always darkest before everything goes black. <laughs> Let that settle in for a moment. Yikes. Now, personally, I think that's kind of an overstatement, but you know, that's VCs, right? However, my personal feeling is the next four quarters are gonna be characterized by three things. Scarce capital, no matter what the source. Whether it's commercial, venture, or institutional, there ain't a lot of money in the system unless you're ready to pay an exorbitant risk premium for the money. Two, all of us are decreasing our capex and operating expenses. We're going to, we're going to run leaner by necessity. Three, 
Weak business models and weak operators, both big and small, are going to be extinct when we come through this. Now, I don't want to sound quoting my 24-year-old kid who lives in L.A. like Debbie Downer. Because in tough and uncertain times, there is a truism, folks. I've been around longer than many people in this room. Small businesses become large businesses because a lot of large businesses will not be able to navigate the class five rapids we are all entering. And small businesses come in to fill the void. That leaves each of you with an opportunity to not only survive, but thrive in tough, uncertain times. And that brings us to the relevance of today. Today is a no-fluff, one-day learning boot camp for you to acquire tractable ideas about how to grow your business in tough, uncertain times using the power of the internet, Web 2.0 technology, and business ideas that you can all apply on Monday, or Sunday, for the more nimble of us. Today you're going to be hearing from industry leaders and the most influential business experts, bloggers, podcasters, and social media gurus, technology experts, and most importantly, like-minded entrepreneurs and business owners, including Tim Ferriss, who's a New York Times best-selling uh, bestseller and author of the four-hour work week, George Wright, VP of marketing for Blendtec, one of the most successful business YouTube campaigns on record, Megan Casey, editor-in-chief of Squidoo, which is one of the top 500 websites in the world, and Steven Spencer, search engine optimization guru and founder of Net Concepts. Also, we have workshops about how to cut operating and capital expense, establish online branding, email marketing on the cheap, search engine optimization, and how to create new revenue streams with podcasts and social networking, leverage on online resources for collection and AR management, and how to increase your prospects and promote marketing events on the cheap. In other words, ideas that you can apply to run your business lean, acquire high-value customers, even in an ultra-competitive environment, and cut your exposure and squeeze profits out of every dime of revenue. Folks, that's pretty chunky stuff. Now, I have to do a 15-second plug for Comcast. Okay? Otherwise, my marketing lead, Tracy Awad, who this was a big chunk of her budget this month, she's going to be on my back all month. Okay? So we got to get some leads out of this. As most of you know, Comcast is the number one provider of residential entertainment and communication services. What you might not know is our business has evolved to serve small business customers like you who want a new choice for voice and data communication. Whether you need to save 20 or 30% on your long distance bill with unlimited flat rate calling, or whether you need 8 to 50 meg, yes, I said 50 meg, internet access to increase your productivity, we can deliver. That's what we're about. Okay, 18 seconds. So, folks, I hope today you'll be able to learn about how to navigate the class five rapids that we are all entering and become the small businesses that not only survive, but thrive and eat the big boys lunch. Thank you very much.